Hi, I'm John. Welcome to The Person Show. Truck owners tend to have a strong relationship with their vehicles, so much so it may even bring concern to some. This week we sit down with Hunter Riley and McCoggle Skill Johnson, two dedicated truck owners and enthusiasts. So tell me about yourselves. Well, um, I'm originally from a banana farm in uh, Mississippi. I was born in the swamps and I was orphaned uh, almost obediently and raised by the crocodiles. Um, and you know, that's some people say they live their life like a rolling stone. I kind of live my life like a crocodile, you know? I didn't know that. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I feel like that's something you talk about when, like, between friends, like you talk about like it's, who you are and like what kind of stuff you do. I don't like to open up too much, you know. It's, okay. So, what do you two love about your trucks? Um, well, usually I drive my Prius, so um, I uh, I like that I don't have to use as much gas, um, and uh, I like that I'm saving the planet, um, and I like um, uh, being able to um, piss off. Um, you know, stupid uh, assholes like this. Um, it, some of them actually have good acceleration because um, they, ha so uh, my Prius Prime 2021 uh, from Toyota in Northampton, um, Leah Toyota, um, it, uh, it has 30 miles of uh, pure electric um, charge, so it has a really powerful torque engine for those 30 miles. So you can actually kind of whip around, um, which you wouldn't be able to do and say a piece of sh Truck. Yeah. Um, what I love about my truck is uh, I really like the brakes of my truck. I know my brakes are good too. Yeah, this brakes. Well, I, I got the really old-fashioned brakes. You know, they they call them the anti anti brake locks, locks lock brakes. And frankly, I think that ABS brakes are really overrated. And sometimes I I'm just rolling down the the roads, you know, around downtown, and I just slam on my brakes and I just skid because sometimes all a man wants to do is feel something inside, you know. And I get, I get really upset when people comment on the, the body of my truck. All they see, all they see is the the beauty on the outside, but they don't see what's on the inside. And okay. I don't. Take it easy. Yeah. So why do truck owners like yourself have such a strong relationship with their vehicles? Well, yeah, so I usually drive my Prius. Um, and I, uh, as I said, I, I just like how um, I look, save a lot of money on gas. Um, and, uh, and that's why I like it. Very nice. Yeah, it's... Oh! Fine! Oh! Jesus! I, uh... Well, can you repeat that question, please? Sorry. I have short-term really I've, I've sh short memory loss. <laughs> A plane just flew right... Well, after my fourth wife left me, I, uh, she took everything from me. Like, she literally took all of the furniture out of my house. And so, I really... I feel attached to my truck because it's the only place where I could sit, but it's also the only thing I can remember her by. And so it's both practical and sentimental. It's a little creepy. One could say, but. Yeah, and I just like my Prius because of the gas mileage. Yeah. So what makes trucks more superior to vehicles or cars? Um. Well, in my domestic life, um, I don't really interact with that many people. And so, when I go, I venture into the abyss of the outside, I want to feel just like bigger and just stronger than everybody else because really that's the only thing that, that brings me joy. I just love being big, strong, and, and muscle. Muscle truck, yeah. 
Um, and I, yeah, I just, I love my Prius. Um, I love whipping around town. Um, and, uh, and and blasting and blasting my tunes through the uh, excellent speaker system, um, and I um, yeah you know I like uh, being able to break and um, and uh, do all sorts of stuff. I like being able to roll down the windows, um, uh, you know things that um, a, a truck doesn't necessarily offer. So what do you two enjoy most about driving your vehicles? Well, you know I. Would love to be able to say that when I turn on my engine, it, it it roars like a kitten, but it doesn't really roar. It kind of sputters and dies like my morale on weekdays. I just love how it's it's like symbolic of my life, and it's I just it's like a motif for all I've been through, and I love watching movies and finding motifs. So it's cool to have a motif in my life, I guess. And the motif is that your truck's a piece of shit and your life's a piece of shit. I guess I would say that I just love the um, the gas mileage. I don't know if I... Did I mention that? Yeah. The gas mileage? Yeah. Well, I'll just say it one more time. And, um, I get good good gas mileage. It's actually really good gas mileage. Um, and um, yeah, I just love it. I just love um, having really good gas mileage. And I um, one thing I don't love is spending money. Um, and um, one thing I really don't love is spending money on gas, which um, hurts our precious planet. Um, yeah. And um, and that's why I, I, I just love my um, my Prius. Um, what also, about, don't use plastic water bottles. So you both keep repeating the word love a good amount. So what does that word love mean to you? Well, I think obviously love is a big part of the human experience. I uh, you know I've come I've come close to it to. to to really grasping it many times, but my marriages uh, haven't lasted past six weeks, so it's really been quite fleeting for me. Um, maybe it's because I uh, only marry girls that don't use their real names when they met me and they just continued not using their real names, so. And how about you? I guess I like to think of myself as sort of a um, sort of a lover boy. Um, I actually got certified recently um, as a lover boy, and I, my card's still uh, it's still at the, the shop. But um, yeah, so I guess to me, love is just um, what isn't love, if you know what I mean. And to me, love is. 33 miles of, of power in my of Prius Prime. Um, to me, it's, I can whip around town listening to music that I want to listen to through my aux, my aux cord, and I don't have to go to the gas station. I haven't been to a gas station in years. Can I just say? I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this guy, actually, because to me, it's just hate. So thank you two for coming out. Do you both have any last words? God bless your soul. Um, I uh, just wanted to plug my new diet. It's the corn Charlie Reed corn diet. Um, it's uh, basically just corn. Um, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's not good for you, but um, and it doesn't taste good. It doesn't make you feel good, but it is what I'm working on uh, at the minute. And. Um, we just got a shipment of corn coming in, so, uh, and, uh, yeah, so I've got, I've got this guy on it for a while, and I've, uh, I've actually been on it for a few months now, and I went to my doctor recently, and he said I was actually eating just too much fiber, and that's why, um, you know, my bottom was really bloody all the time, um, but, oh, hi, Mom. Um, what? What, Mom? You cr uh, you crashed my car? You crashed my freeze prime? Um, okay. Uh, uh, I
I'm there in like three seconds. Mom, I'm gonna freaking beat the shit out of you. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Mom! Mom! I I can't believe you did this to my Prius Prime! My 21 Prius Prime, it gets 39! Peeled out. <laughs> <laughs>